This place. The architecture. It's all so familiar. I think we're in the weather factory. That can't be right. We were traveling for much too long. We've got to be far away from Equestria by now, not to mention Cloudsdale. Actually, Scootaloo may be right. I noticed it was maybe the same amount of time from when we left the Coliseum as it would take to get to the weather factory. But I don't know, maybe that's just a coincidence. Welcome, you filthy mules. You degenerates are probably wondering where exactly you are. <laughs> Silly fillies. You're in Cloudsdale. The Rainbow Facility, to be exact. Allow me to show you around. What's going on here? Do you expect these as slaves? Because I'd rather be deported. As if you failures have a choice. You'll be here for the rest of your worthless, miserable lives. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Where are my manners? I am Dr. Atmosphere. Now, despite my rather prestigious title, if I may say so myself, my license is not that of a medical one, that you can be quite sure. Strange how many worthless pegasi I get that idea. No, no. My degree is in engineering. I am one of the four cults of this facility. I'm sure you've all had the tour of the lower factory, no? Excellent. Now, who can tell me where the tour begins? where the spectre comes from upstairs in his mix. Very good, my dear lad. What a pity you're utterly useless to the flock. <sighs> you could have been a smart one. True, though our tour does begin there on the lower story, such does not hold true today. Today, you see, we're on the upper floor. Now then, if the group could please follow me this way. Oh, and do make sure you keep up with the rest of us now, or one of my helpers will be forced to persuade you. Please! Stop! No. Wait! What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Shocking, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, you simply must be careful in this department. There's just so many nooks and crannies and vents and vats that one can fall into. One must be careful not to hurt themselves. <laughs> Especially you, Lon. Oh, after all, you're all hopeless enough as it is, aren't you? Any more so, and even we couldn't put you to good use. Now then. Let me tell you all a story. As I'm sure you're all aware, Cloudsdale is where the weather is made. Without us, the rest of Equestria would starve, freeze, drown, and, well, generally be a sad place to live, would it not? That gives us of the weather team a very special honor. That can't be tainted by you worthless and... <laughs> well... One that can't be tainted by incompetent foals such as yourselves. How could the world look up and trust us if Pegasi like you are flying around wearing the Cloudsdale name? No, no, we can't have that here. However, we needed something to do with all of you. And then we got a delicious idea one day over a thousand years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those were smart ponies back then. You don't find too many of them these days. <laughs> oh, but I digress. Now then, through these doors with you quickly now before more encouragement is supplied. Enjoy the rest of your pitiful lives. Those suits there, those are from the other flight school across town. And those other ponies sitting over there. I remember them from a trip we went on once. Levitating Acres Private School. So this is where all the failures go. 
Not supported, but forced to work forever. At least we don't have to go through it alone. I am so out of here. I guess that option is out. <laughs>